Happening right now, the Juneteenth flag is flying above City Hall in Salt Lake City. The flag raising comes as Utah celebrates Juneteenth as a state holiday for the very first time. New specialist Kara Brackett with more. Well, this Monday, many people are going to be off of work as the state celebrates Juneteenth as a state holiday. This is a time to remember where we've been and where we're going when it comes to equity and inclusion. You're going to see that the flag, the Juneteenth flag, is now raised as part of that. June 19th, 1865 marks the day when the word of freedom made it to those living in slavery down in Galveston, Texas. Juneteenth became a federal holiday in 2021. Now in Utah, following Representative Sandra Holland's sponsorship of the Juneteenth bill, leaders from the black community, city council, and state are coming together to pay respect and celebrate the communities who have carried a torch of justice for generations. And it has made a great difference because now it has made it uh, the type of event that the entire state is aware of. And so we've received a lot of uh, contact. And as the leaders who spoke today say, this holiday really opens the door for that time to make conversation about what this holiday truly stands for. We're now reporting in Salt Lake City, I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News. All right, Kara, thank you. Meanwhile, Juneteenth obser observances also happening for the very first time at Westminster College. School says they hope to educate those on campus as well as surrounding communities about the Juneteenth National Freedom Day, its recognition in Utah overtime, and the effort to make Juneteenth an official state holiday in Utah. We have this opportunity to celebrate and learn from our past, reconcile our present, and be again, become that more perfect union that America is can be. Activists at the event encourage Utahns to use the holiday to celebrate, appreciate, and reflect on the history of Juneteenth. 